We welcome two of the team's more decorated women, Courtney Acolo and Morla Kea Kinison. And Courtney, we start with you. Last year, you won the indoor NCAA 400 meter in Arkansas, but injuries kept you from defending the outdoor 400 title. First of all, how are you feeling coming into the meet this weekend? And are any of those injuries going to limit you at all in this weekend's meet? Uh, I feel completely healthy, and um, I haven't really had any problems during fall training, so I'm just looking forward to stay healthy this season. Well, Morla Kay, you're coming off scoring points in four events at the 2015 NCAA in Outdoor Championships. How do you carry that sort of momentum into your senior year? I accomplished so much my junior season here, and I just want to make sure that my senior season is just as good, if not better, than my senior season. So I'm really looking forward to it. All right. Well, Courtney, as you finish up your senior campaign, what are you still hoping to accomplish? Um, well, there's still some school records left. There's still some collegiate records left. There's always something to win. So I'm just trying to do my best each meet, each championship, and, you know, come together as a team and try to win a national title is something that I'm really looking forward to. What about some of those individual ones up on the bulletin board? You said there's still a couple of records you'd like um, to beat. Yeah, the school 400 meter record outdoor. It's kind of tricky because I have the collegiate record, but I don't have the school record, so I'm really hoping for that. And the indoor 400 meter record, I'm hoping for that too. See, that's what I love about the student athlete. They've always got their eye on the prize. What about you? What about you? I have two national championships on a relay, but I really want one that's just myself. And I've been second twice, two years in a row. It's kind of like, I want one that's just, one that's just me. Winning with your team is awesome, but doing it by yourself kind of means more. How do you guys walk that line? Because it is both an individual and a team sport. How, how do you hand help your team win, but also know that you've got some of those personal records you'd like to accomplish? We'll start with Courtney. Um, I feel like anytime you try to win individually, you're gonna, individually, you're gonna help regardless. So I think if you just focus on doing the best you can in everything you're doing, whether it's an individual event or a relay, I mean, you'll help both the team and yourself. And yourself. Well, with that being said, as this team has not won an indoor NCAA title since 2006, came close two years ago, but they haven't won one since 2006. This year going into the season, ranked number three in the nation. What have you seen from this group just in practice that gives you the sense maybe that this is the sort of team that could go the distance. I'll start with you, Morley Kay. We're a very versatile group. We just don't have a strong area in just sprints or just distance or just the field events. We're very, really versatile and because we have so many different strong aspects of our team. I think that can really help us going into the international meet, not having to rely on one event group or even just one person to score all the points for the team. What about you? What are you seeing? Um, we have a a strong freshman class and just newcomers in general as in transfers and stuff like that so I think just seeing what they can do and how they can attribute to points I think that'll make a big difference. You're both on the Bowerman watch list which is essentially the equivalent of the Heisman Trophy and the track and fee and the track. Courtney you were a finalist for the award in 2014 what does it mean to be considered for an award like that? Um, it's an honor uh, it uh, it lets me know that I'm doing something good so if I see my name on that list each month or something like that, I know that just keep up the... Well, Morla Kay, you're uh, looking to go this weekend. Obviously, Texas A&M Invitational kicking off the season. How do you think you guys compare to the rest of the field? Um, I think that we... Have, we have a great advantage in the fact that we've been taking our fact that winning slow and steady and we, a lot of us are really strong, not just weight room strong, but we have a good strong foundation of just being in shape underneath us. And she, while we might not run as fast right off the bat when it comes time for championship season, we're all getting ready to really be fast, be strong, fast, be far, throw far. All right, well, I'm excited. You guys are kicking it off, as I said, this weekend. Appreciate both of you coming in. Thank, Thank you. you.